Hey everybody, uh, Sonny Allen, uh, West Bowl Partners coming to you live with my land specialist, Grant Bowles. Um, we've got some equipment running over here, so pardon us if it's a little loud. We're gonna try to talk loud so you can hear us. But uh, man, we're so excited. This giveaway has been uh, so cool. We've had uh, such a great response. And you know, we said we're gonna up our game and we have upped our game. And uh, we're giving away some great prizes today. Uh, we've got uh, Sitka gear. And, uh, you know, quality is what we stand for. We call it higher standard. Uh, nothing says higher standard in outdoor hunting apparel than Sitka gear. Um, yes, it's expensive, but let me tell you what I've learned over the years is you can go buy it once or you can buy the cheap stuff every other year. Uh, you're probably gonna spend just as much money either way. So I love this gear. I love Sitka brand. I love what they stand for. I love the, uh, the quality of the material. Um, I've got several things, including their waders, and uh, man, you can't beat it. It's so good, it's so comfortable, it fits so well, it's so durable. Um, a big shout out to Sitka for creating such a great product. We are not sponsored by Sitka, we do not get a discount. I paid full retail for this. Um, so uh, this is an unsolicited uh, promotion of Sitka gear for what they do and how good a quality they produce. And we wanted to give away something nice, so that's what we're doing today with this turkey vest. Um, Grant, tell us how long you have been in the real estate business. Three years next month. Wow, he's coming up on his anniversary there with you us. You yeah. know, two years, right? You've that been was with in our February. Two, two, or just had his anniversary yeah. with us for two years. Uh, I'm so thankful and so excited that I get to work with Grant. He is one of the up and coming stars in our industry. He does such a thorough job. He's so thoughtful and caring, and he grew up in. Um, a, a family of home builders and he understands construction, he understands land, he understands real estate. Um, and I'm very proud of him and I'm, I'm thankful that he gets to be here with me today to do this. Um, so market update, people are always asking about the real estate market, uh, especially the rural ranch market. I just was driving uh, down the road a minute ago and my neighbor said, hey, tell me, tell me what's going on with the ranch real estate market. We are seeing a plethora of activity. I mean, since January, we've been busy. We've been running and gunning um, a lot of activity, a whole lot of activity. In fact, we're getting ready to launch quite a few new listings. I think it's somewhere around $30 million worth of new properties we're gonna be putting on the market in the next 30 days. We've got a lot of buyers. We've got some, uh, some good contracts in title right now. It's harder to negotiate in this market. Uh, sellers are still holding on, trying to get higher prices. Buyers are coming in low, but it's coming together. We're starting to see a change in the psychology. We got to go listen to uh, one of the top uh, chief economists from Texas A&M this past week at our land brokers meeting, and they shared some data. And we're gonna go to San Antonio this week to listen to um, the, the annual Outlook Land Conference. and. I, you know, I'm seeing the, the, what we see every day in our work, I'm starting to see that show up in the, uh, in, the, in the data that they're publishing in the charts. And you can tell from watching the charts how we have gone, you know, from a great market to a spike. I mean, a really big spike in, you know, 2000 to 2000 and early 2003. And then you see it start to come down. And so from those days, we're down about 20% across the board. 2003? Yeah, for in the last two years, I'd say. Yeah. So we have come down about 20% in the last two years, basically. So what we're seeing, though, is, is that downside has kind of flattened. The curve is starting to flatten out. Okay, now nobody's expecting it to spike back up. I don't think that, I think that was a once in a lifetime event. We're not gonna see that again. But what we are seeing is a lot of activity. There's a lot of demand. There's a lot of people coming to the area in the hill country. Uh, we got a lot of demand for land and of all sorts, uh, ranches for small tracks to build on, uh, residential markets picking up, uh, rates are coming down. You know, we're starting to kind of level this thing out. It was topsy-turvy there for a while, but we're starting to see it stability, which is what the market needs. Um, so what we think is gonna happen is we're gonna hit a place where things are gonna kind of flatten out. Now, how fast they start to rise again, it might take a couple of years. It might, it might take three years before we start to see prices really start to come up again. But it's a great time to buy, and I don't think it's going, going to get any better. I mean, I think we've, we've, we've absorbed the, the punch. Uh, we came off of that spike that we had in uh, 2000, 2002. That's all kind of gone now. 
uh, we need to like watch how these values stabilize and you know buyers and sellers are on such different pages but uh, buyers want to come in and low cut everything and sellers are hanging on to what their neighbor got you know three years ago two years ago and we're trying to we're trying to bring things into the middle and, and get people to understand you know you can't get what your neighbor got in 2001 but you can get a heck of a price compared to what you could have got in 2019 and so we're, we're sharing that with our clients we're trying to educate them we're watching the market every day we're studying everything that comes on the market everything that sells a lot of overpriced inventory out there uh, a lot of it is uh, just sitting there you know we're trying to avoid that we're trying to educate our sellers we're trying to educate our buyers and get people to to come in and meet in the middle and, and make deals. Um, so that's kind of in a nutshell what's going on with the market. Um, incredibly active. We have been running hard since January and it doesn't seem to be letting up. Of course, this is a favorite time of year. This is this is the time of year we really love what we do. We get to get out and see these beautiful ranches covered in blue bonnets and uh, spring flowers and uh, trees putting out. And uh, we've had some rain too. We don't have enough yet, but we're getting there. Uh, starting to see a little bit of trickles here and there. Maybe maybe the creeks and the rivers will start to flow again, you know, before we get summer. But uh, it's a beautiful time of year. It's a great time to be in our business and do what we do. It's a great time to buy property. It's a great time to sell property. Um, I don't think there's any big changes coming. And I think that's what people are looking for is like stability. So people know what's going to happen, you know, down the road. Am I going to sell and then price going to go up? That's not going to happen. I can pretty much guarantee you that. Um, am I going to buy and prices keep dropping? I don't think that's going to happen either. I think we're in that flat spot where it's a good time to get in and play the game. So uh, keep that in mind if you're thinking about buying or selling. Um, so, uh, Grant, what do we have here? Oh, man, we got some hats, some great West Bowl stuff, kind of like what I got on here. Some Richardson uh, flat bills. We got, obviously, the main event here is the Sitka turkey vest. <laughs> it's got your... Uh, your bottom pad for you when you're sitting on the ground and then we got a turkey call and some t-shirts so lots of swag and then uh, some good hunting gear too so we love this we love your stories you know the west pole giveaway is about you sharing with us what your west pole is and you know west pole stands for that thing inside of us that pulls us toward adventure towards the outdoors it might be different for each of us but it's in all of us and that's that's I mean that that's the meaning behind the name of our team that's, that's the meaning behind what we do is like there's no greater way to experience outdoors than on dirt that you own and uh, you know whether it's uh, you know it can be hunting and fishing that's what we do so we talk about it a lot but it can be just you know going out and walking through a field of blue bonnets it can be watching a sunset you know it can be hiking uh, hiking camping, camping watching yeah. birds you know whatever it is you know you've got um something in us and i don't care where it is you can be in downtown uh, whatever city name it and if there's a green belt or a park on a sunny sunday afternoon it's going to be packed with people people have an affection to be outdoors and be drawn to nature and uh i believe that's our god-given uh dna that we're like made to connect with nature um and so like the compass needle points to the north uh you know what's in our hearts points to the west to pull us toward the outdoors and that's why we call it west pole in case you're wondering and hadn't heard that before but um we have uh, really enjoyed this contest we really are grateful i mean from the bottom of our hearts we want to thank everybody that participates we hope y'all will continue to participate we're going to keep doing this we're going to keep doing it uh, at a higher level uh, we want to uh, give back to you guys for sharing your stories. They mean so much when we hear all the different ways that different people connect with the outdoors. And uh, whether it's owning land or, or just dreaming of someday owning land or having some kind of uh, adventure that your dad took you on when you were a child or whatever it is, it, it, it resonates with us and it's what drives us and what we do. So we're extremely grateful for you sharing. We're extremely thankful for all the people who participate in this contest we're going to be back we're going to do it again um in i guess three months you know and we're gonna we're gonna be doing some summertime stuff next time so stay tuned for that so but for now i know everybody's anticipating this waiting on the the big prize here the winner 
Uh, but we're going to do it last just to tease you a little bit. So <laughs> hang around. What we're going to do is we're going to give away, uh, what do you want to give away first? Let's give away some hats. Some hats. Okay. So we're going to give away some West Bowl caps. Now we have a variety up here and I will tell you these hats, these hats right here are super cool. Unless you're an old guy like me, they don't look good on me, but, but this guy can put one on. He looks like a model. Okay, and we've got all different kinds of hats, uh, camo hats, we've got our traditional West Pole hats, uh, we've got different colors of these, we've got ladies hats, so you get to pick. So if you want a hat, tell us what you want and we will get it to you. And uh, you wanna announce the winners? Sure. All right, we're gonna start off with Brady oh, Stew. The wind's blowing it. Brady Stew's won a hat. We got Aiden Goldwasser. Say hey to your dad for us. <laughs> uh, Brendan Chamberlain, Ryan Mikaila, and Carrie Soul. Carrie Soul, my wife's a good friend. There you go. Those are our hat winners. Carrie, we'll get you a special hat. You just let us know. All okay. Right. What's next? Let's do a turkey call. How about that? Turkey call. Change it up. We got a box call, uh, ML Lynch call. Uh, these are oldies but goodies. Uh, favorite. Uh, box call if you like to like sit there and stroke the box uh, that this is for you it says lynch is foolproof too so i mean proof guaranteed a turkey i bet i could screw it up but <laughs> anyhow <laughs> all right you you got this one okay the turkey call goes to jimmy jocelyn jimmy you congratulations go. you want a turkey call congrats you'll be ready i hope you're a turkey hunter yeah it's time to go yep all right we got some uh shirts next i'm gonna show one of those these are really comfortable t-shirts, really soft. Um, I wear mine constantly. So Don't you love that logo? Yeah, it's I love sweet. that logo. So we're gonna be giving away five of those. So Jimmy Parrish, David Balance, Carlo Coronado, Calvin Mauger, and Jacob Ferguson. Those are our shirt awesome. winners. Awesome, congratulations y'all. Yep, congrats guys, they're good ones. Calvin, you're a multi-time winner, congratulations. <laughs> All right. Okay. So now we're down to the grand prize. Uh, who wants the turkey vest? Sick of gear. Um, I love the uh, butt pad. That's like my favorite part. But it's got pockets on it. You can put all your calls in here. Uh, it's got a pocket for a box call. Uh, carry all your slates. Your mouth calls go in here. This thing is like primo. And Top it's notch. durable. And I guarantee you this will be the last turkey vest that you ever need. And uh, the winner is Matthew Lauer. Matthew Lauer, congratulations. Congrats. You're our grand prize winner. Yes. Way to go, amigo. Yeah, uh, I hope you like turkey hunting, too. I, I hope you do. If you don't, we'll, yeah, we'll take it off your hands. We'll make up for it in another way. We'll, <laughs> we'll send you a gift card, and I'll keep this if you want, want to do that. So, Anyhow, uh, God bless y'all. I hope y'all had a happy Easter weekend. Thank y'all so much for joining us. Thank you for participating. We're going to keep doing this. Uh, uh, we'll, like I said, we'll be back, I guess the end of June will be the next one. And uh, we'll be making announcements in the next couple of weeks of what we're going to give away. And uh, whatever it is, whatever draws you to the outdoors, remember to always get out and go West Pole. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.